understanding your water quality report. So why should I care about what's in my water quality report and where do I find this report? Okay, let's start with the second question first. Where you can find your annual water quality report is online for your municipality that delivers your water. So find out the name of the water company that, that takes care of your water. They usually send you a bill on a quarterly basis. Find out who that is, do a Google search, and you will find the company. Typically on the home page, there's a link to this water quality report. Why should you care about what's in this water quality report? Because it's really your first line of defense in understanding what's going on with your particular water. Okay, let's get started. So first, we need to get past all the pleasant pictures and the multiple paragraphs of information that don't really mean anything to us. Most people only read this first page of their water quality report, which explains that the municipality is taking all the necessary steps to provide the best possible water quality. However, the important information is the regulated substances chart, which breaks down what contaminants are present and the level of those contaminants. The United States Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, has established regulated substance guidelines that must be followed by local municipalities nationwide. So let's get started understanding what these abbreviations are and why they're important. So MCL stands for Maximum Contaminant Level. So the EPA has established maximum standards for each contaminant. And as long as the local water treatment municipalities are keeping the regulated contaminant levels below this, they do not incur any violations. MCLG stands for Maximum Contaminant Level Goal, which is the goal the, level municipal the local municipality has set for themselves, which is lower than the EPA's MCL, if not at a zero level. The MCLG is important. For an example, the EPA has a maximum level for lead at 15 parts per billion, and the MCLG level for most municipalities is zero because lead is very harmful to the human body at any level and on this report you'll see the detected level at 4.4 parts per billion and ingesting lead at a level of 4.4 over a long period of time will cause health issues. And it's important to note here that lead in your water may not come from your water authority directly. It may get picked up by the water pipes on a route to your house or it might even be picked up in the pipes in your own home. So testing for water, your own water, to be certain you don't have lead is a very important thing to do. Copper is the next regulated heavy metal that we're going to talk about. And on this report you'll see that the MCL and the MCLG are the same set at 1.3 parts per million. The copper level on this report is well below the maximum, testing at 0.204, which is an acceptable level. Copper is not as harmful to us as lead. In fact, our bodies do need a small amount of copper. So next, let's talk about the fluoride in your water. You're going to click on the next video in this series so you can learn all about the fluoride in your water. So click on the next video where we're going to discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly of fluoride. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.